Hey, broken wings and cell phone dings. Much better. Hello friends and welcome to the third and final part of our series, Husband 101, where we are learning more about the man that God has called us to be in marriage, or whatever else you've been learning from this series. If you remember, back in week one, we talked about love your wives, then in week two, we talked about study your wives, and today to wrap up our series, I want to share a message with you all entitled, Touch your wives. It's about to get hot in here. Let's start by reading 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 1, which says, Now for the matters you wrote about, it is good for a man not to have sexual relations with a woman. But since sexual immorality is occurring, each man should have sexual relations with his own wife, and each woman with her own husband. The husband should fulfill his marital duty to his wife, and likewise the wife to her husband. The wife does not have authority over her own body, but yields it to her husband. In the same way, the husband does not have authority over his body, but yields it to his wife. Do not deprive each other except perhaps by mutual consent for a time, so that you may devote yourselves to prayer. Then come together again so that Satan will not tempt you because of your lack of self-control. I say this as a concession, not as a command. Now men, I know what you're thinking. Oh, right! I love the Bible. Slow your roll, brother. First, we need to remember the original context of this passage. If we look back at the beginning in verse 1, we see clearly that Paul is responding to somebody here. And scholars believe that this was most likely a letter written by a Corinthian Christian to Paul asking about sex and sexual immorality. And so we have to start by remembering that Paul here is answering a specific question, not giving an entire overarching theology on marriage. With that in mind, though, there are several principles from this passage that can and should be applied to every marriage. The first and perhaps most obvious lesson here is that part of a biblical husband's duty, part of a biblical husband's role in marriage, is to show affection to his wife. Not just sex, gentlemen. Affection. Affection with your touch, yes, but also affection with your words, affection with your deeds, affection with how you serve her. And what specific type of affection your wife wants and needs will probably be different than the type of affection my wife wants. This is why we talked earlier about the importance of studying your wives. See what's going on here? But also, it's important to note that affection is not something we do just when we feel like it. And it's certainly not something we avoid because it's not manly. But God actually desires for us to be affectionate with our spouse. That is part of his design for marriage. Now, a lot of people take issues with verses that say, I don't have authority over my own body, or somehow I need to fulfill a marital duty to my spouse. And yes, I'll say it. On the surface, these verses can sound at best cringy and at worst completely misogynistic. Sounds like DJ Khaled wrote the Bible. But the real point here is not one about duty or submission as much as it is about a mutual responsibility that both a husband and wife share in regards to their physical devotion to one another. You see, God's design for sex within the bonds of marriage is for us to focus on what we can give to the other person. And this is so backwards from the world's version of sex, which only tells us to focus on what we can get. What this passage teaches us is that a healthy sexual relationship within a marriage occurs when the husband is fully focused on his wife and when the wife is fully focused on her husband. Which goes far beyond the bedroom, by the way. And when we deprive one another of that physical touch, of that affection, whether it's out of anger, whether it's out of resentment, or even just laziness, when we do that, we are actually falling short of the calling that God has given us. Surprise, surprise, everybody. If you are married, God wants you to have sex. But more than that, God wants you to focus your affection and attention toward your spouse in an intentional and selfless way. And this isn't just so you won't be tempted to fulfill your desires elsewhere, but this is yet another area where we can seek to learn about our spouse, to serve them more effectively, and eventually, 
to build a stronger marriage. I hope that you've seen over the last three weeks that the standard that God calls us to as husbands reaches far higher than what the world calls us to in every category, in how we relate physically, in how we relate spiritually and emotionally, in how we serve and love our wives. And friends, I want to end this series by saying this. The world needs more men who are answering that high call. The world needs more men who are taking the responsibilities of servant leadership, intentional affection, and agape love more seriously. What would the world look like if we all, right now, decided to start loving our spouses this way? Again, I know I certainly don't do this perfectly, but I am making a commitment today to submit myself to the role that God has called me to play in my marriage. And I hope that you'll do the same. Hey friends, thank you so much for watching this seven minute sermon. I hope this series is encouraging you and strengthening your faith. Before you go, I wanted to let you know that today's video is brought to you by the supporters of this ministry via Patreon. Patreon is a fantastic platform that allows people like you to support the creators they love for as little as a dollar a month. In fact, if each and every person who watches this video supported this ministry for just one dollar a month, we could potentially reach tens if not hundreds of thousands maybe even millions of more people with the gospel message through this amazing platform called YouTube. And so if you are interested in joining this mission to literally, as Jesus said, go into all the world and preach the gospel to all nations, if you want to help us at this ministry do that, then I highly encourage you to click the link down below and check out our Patreon page where you can give once again $1, $2, $5, $20 a month, however you are able, we would greatly appreciate it. That is all I have for you today. I will see you all next week for another video. I love you all. Keep being awesome.